All right, for starters, this is one of my favorite pictures um, that I've seen. I'm gonna grab the other magazine, sorry. Um, one of my favorite pictures that I've seen, and you might have seen this in several other books, magazines, I've seen it as posters. Um, this is a very um, famous shot of this bear catching this um, fish up in Alaska. And this is going to be, this article is going to be about this guy. And then we're going to show, they're going to show how another one of the jobs that he does. Oh, my stars. Look at that. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, so high up. Not interested. No, 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 no. Thank you. Holy smokes. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to be reading to you today. Um, I use the printed version just because I like how I can write on it. So here we go. Faithful photographer Joel Sartor. Photographer Joel Sartor is not a daring mountaineer, but you'd never know it. His job takes him to wild places, including Alaska's northern north slope and to remote jungles of South America. I hate climbing mountains, Sator says. I hate climbing hills, too. And I'm not even that fond of stairs. That's funny. So why does Sator, or Sar, Sartor go to these places and put himself into dangerous situations? He cares te- deeply about wildlife. He hopes his photos will move people to care about species and what's happening to it. Photography is his passion. In Alaska, for example, Sartor got close to creatures, both small and large. On the north slope, swarms of mosquitoes filled the sky to show how buggy the place was. Sartor did something some might consider strange. I just took off my shoes and socks. (gasps) Mosquito beats on your feet. My mosquito bites on your feet would be horrible, he explained. The mosquitoes attacked his exposed feet, hungry for blood. It didn't take long. Imagine trying not to flinch as dozens of itty-bitty bugs stab into you. The bites itched for hours, but it didn't matter to Sartor. What mattered was getting the shot. Okay, I don't know. That sounds pretty intense to me. I would not be doing that. I'd be like, "Mm, oh, no way encountering danger later sartor met with a huge mother grizzly oh my goodness what is he doing now with a huge mother grizzly bear he and her cubs were eating a salmon sartor was downhill from the bears in seconds she was bounding down the hill headed down mouth foaming she was braced ready to spring i lowered my eyes apologized softly and i slowly backed up Thankfully, the bear only snorted at Sartor and headed back uphill. Whoa, did he get lucky. Because mama bears are not nice. Usually. So he was very lucky. To get great photos, Sartor also spent weeks in the jungle of Bolivia. During his time there, he noticed a hole on his leg that kept growing and would not heal. Oh, my stars. Sartor didn't know that a tiny sand fly had bitten him, leaving a hungry parasite inside his leg. Oh, yuck! Doctors eventually figured out what was wrong, and the tiny parasite was eating Sartor's leg. Killing the critter took surgery and lots of heavy-duty medicine. After going through that, some people might consider a different line of work, but not Sartor. As soon as he could, he got back behind the camera, returning to the dangerous places where the animals he photographs live. Even during dangerous moments, I love my job. I once took pictures of a Rab's fringe-limbed tree frog, the last of its kind. Capturing the frog's image is like giving it a voice. Once people see an animal and learn its story, they want to help. That's true. Shot by shot, explorers like Sartor, Copes, and Dublé remind us that our world is worth capturing and worth caring for. Okay, well, I guess if you put it that way, 
But I am going to say, a parasite eats your leg away? Um, I'm going to say no. Thank you. So this guy, I'm going to put flip this over so I can see his name right there. This is week three, day four. And this is called, this one's Joel Sartor. And I don't know, maybe it's Satore. Satore? Sartore? I guess Sartor. I guess you could say, I'm obviously he's going to have, I'd have to look it up. Um, now I feel like I should. I'm just going to type it in. S A R T O. R E. Let's see if it comes up as and his name is Joel Sartor S A R. We'll see. It says right now that it's coming up with issues on my phone, so maybe it won't work. So um, I am going to do my first fact. Joel Sar Satori. I bet it's Satori. Maybe not. Is an animal photographer. Who puts animals first? I'm going to say that because it's definitely true. He's putting the animals first to that. I would like this job. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a connection. I would love to take pictures of animals for a living and make lots of money. I shouldn't say make lots and make money doing it. You can take pictures of animals and not make money doing it. And that doesn't help you, like, as a job. So I'm just going to say and make money doing it. Actually, and make money with my photos. Number three. Fact. Sartore R took off his shoes and socks to get pictures. of mosquitoes eating slash drinking his blood. Yuck. Never. I don't know if you know this, but mosquitoes carry a ton of diseases, or they can anyway. He must have known that they weren't too bad for um Satori believes the pictures give the animal a voice his pictures give the animal 
animals a voice. That's what he said. My fifth one is a question. How in the world did he get so lucky? to get a job like that. There's usually a story behind how a person gets a job like that. So I'm gonna make sure I have his name capitalized. I have five. So Joel Satori is an animal photographer who puts animals first, exclamation point. I would love to take pictures of animals for a living and make money with my photos. Uh, yes, I would. Another fact, Sartor Satori took off his shoes and socks to get pictures of mosquitoes eating or drinking his blood. Yuck, never, actually never, never, never. Um, Satori believes his pictures give the animal a voice. And finally, I've got my, so I'm gonna get two points for each of those. Solid sentences. How in the world did he get so lucky to get a job like that? Oops, I needed a question mark there. Glad I reread that. Plus two. All right, so I got plus 10 out of 10. Rockstar. All right, I hope you enjoyed this article and maybe you get to dream about or maybe get a job like that one day. That would be awesome.